This is MathGuide.com. My name is Mark Karadimos, and today we're going to be taking a look at how to solve quadratic equations using the quadratic formula. I just had this equation uh, posted in a different uh, video, and I solved it using completing the square. Uh, anyway, I just want to say that. Uh, now, going back to this problem, uh, we are going to solve it by using this formula. <clears throat> so I have the formula off here to the right top right side of the screen. Uh, except you'll notice that the equation has to be written like it is over here, like it is in black. Uh, you got to have a zero on one side to be able to use the quadratic formula. Well, you'll notice right here for our problem, the right side of the equation right here is not zero. Right here, that is definitely not a zero. So what we're going to do is get a zero there. We're going to add 24 to both sides. Like a good algebra student, we are going to cancel the 24 by doing the opposite. All right, so uh, what do we have left? It looks like we have a 34 and a 0 on the right side. All right, so now we have our equation in the form that's necessary with a 0 on one side. We're ready to go. Now you'll also notice that there's an A, a B, and a C written in this equation. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to identify what our A, our B, and our C is. Well, for this problem, uh, you know, the A is what's in front of the X, the B is what's in, I'm sorry, the A is what's in front of the X squared, the B is, is what uh, is in front of the X, in other words, the coefficients in front of those letters are your A and B, and then the number by itself is a C. All right, so what number do we have for A? We have a 1. If you don't see a number, there is a 1. So there's a 1 for A, a negative 6 for B, and a 34 for C. All right, so now we've identified what those values are. We're going to plug those values into the quadratic formula. So let's see, the formula says x is equal to the opposite of b plus or minus the square root of the quantity b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. Now you'll see that I'm taking uh, great pains not to put in those values. I want to write out the formula and I replaced all the letters in the formula, replaced all those letters with per, uh, pairs of parentheses. So now it's going to make it easy for me to plop in those values. Okay, what's a? Well, let's see, a is 1, so in our formula I'm going to replace all the a's with 1's. Uh, let's see, our B is negative 6, so I'm going to replace the B's with negative 6's. And then the C is the 34, so 34 goes right over here. And you always can go back to um, this video, pause at any time, kind of catch up if you lose your place. All right, what's next? We're going to clean up the formula. So uh, we're going to go through this carefully. I'm going to take the opposite of negative 6, which is a positive 6. All right, now I'm going to clean up what I can. 2 times 1 in the denominator is 2. Okay, that's easy enough. Now, where people get uh, you know mixed up, it's this value that's underneath the radical. That seems to be the place that gives people most trouble with the quadratic formula. Well, order of operation says you do the squares first. So negative 6 squared, 36. Now between subtraction and multiplication, you're going to multiply before you subtract. So I'm now going to multiply 4 times 1 times 34. So if you multiply those together, you're going to get 136. All right, I'm going to bring down that minus sign. The minus sign here, I haven't done anything with it. It's still going to be a subtraction problem. All right, so far so good. We have everything cleaned up, really getting cleaned up uh, quickly. Now, with the quadratic formula, space, you know, you got to give yourselves a lot of space to do these problems. All right, so I'm continuing my calculations over here. So what is uh, x equal to? Well, it's 6 plus or minus. Now I'm going to clean up under the radical. That would be minus 100. 
And then the denominator, still two. All right, well, we're gonna take the square root of that minus 100. Again, we're taking a square root of a negative, the negative one inside the, uh, you know, inside the radical. In other words, just the negative part gives you i. Okay, and then we also know that the square root of 100 is 10. All right, so a little bit of cleanup with complex numbers, complex numbers because of the negative. All right, now it says divide everything by two, so I got to divide the six by two. I got to divide the ten by two. And there you have it. It looks like there's our answer. So our solution is three plus or minus five i. Now, most of the time when people write their solutions, they want to see what are the two solutions. And there are two solutions here. There's a positive solution and a negative. We have to use this plus minus sign. Uh, okay, so when you see that plus minus sign, just like we so far we see it right there, well, it means that one solution, one solution, and I'm using a little subscript on the x, is 3 plus 5i. And our second solution is equal to 3 minus 5i. One positive, one negative. And there you go. We've got our two solutions. Sometimes people put these around brackets or braces in set, using set notation, but those are the solutions there. All right, make sure you go back to mathguide.com, check out our lesson on quadratic formula, and uh, check out our interactive quizzes and other videos. Take care.